Hi, I'm Chris Horn. I've been with EPAM now, part of the Pole Source acquisition, so if I take the entire duration, uh, nearly five years. Um, been in and around the Salesforce ecosystem nearly 20 years, and um, I look after emerging markets and automotive. Great question. EPAM, uh, I think depending on who you ask, there's a number of, questions, number of answers you get. For me, I think EPAM is a global engineering and delivery excellence company. They absolutely deliver customer success. What is amazing to see from EPAM as well, um, the number of solutions you probably use every day and give it no thought that actually EPAM has had a hand in designing, building, implementing, deploying, um, that just becomes part of your everyday life. For me, they are part of the fabric of, of what makes my day, which is really good. The EPAM and Salesforce uh, partnership, um, they put the client at the center of everything. And that is absolutely critical to success. Um, I think their core values, the vision, the innovation that they deliver as well, you know, these are all core components of how to deliver success with inside of um, any organization. I think Salesforce personifies that in terms of, it, you know, it is the number one CRM application in the world. You know, EPAM absolutely follows the same guiding principles, how they engage with their customers. The, the, the physical presence that we have in 50 countries, our ability to partner with Salesforce to provide everything from pre-sales to early engagement, right the way through to delivery and managed service. And I think it is that trust that we have, joint trust, it isn't just one way, that's the mutual benefit from this. It's a mutual trust that we have from Salesforce to EPAM and vice versa that really drives client success. And I think that shows in um, our CSAT scores and things like that, you know, and the fact that there are a number of clients uh, that are presenting now at Dreamforce 2022 where they are a joint you know epam salesforce delivery that are absolutely just showing how to drive success within this industry again i think epam and salesforce together are, are, they come as a real powerhouse you know you're picking for me the number one crm platform and the number one partner um, that might be quite controversial for me to say as the number one partner, but I actually believe the relationship that we now have and the trust we have with Salesforce, we are delivering more and more joint programs together. We're being brought in as part of their trusted advisor and uh, their innovation strategies and programs. The fact that any new implementation or new product that's been released, like Genie that's just been released, we're one of the top 16 partners already you know, allocated and supporting that new product, that shows the level of trust within there. So I think in terms of our partnership as it stands today and going forward, it will only go from strength to strength. EPAM has been very, uh, very, very good and very, very clever in terms of how it's grown itself off practice. Done a, doing it through uh, organic growth in, in terms of how uh, their customer base, because you know, given that they work with a lot of the Fortune 500, you know, that have chosen Salesforce as their core platform as well, and EPAM has been on that journey to deliver it. But ultimately, as they've needed to expand into um, being able to provide multi-cloud, multi-solution, full end-to-end -end engagements, they've gone on the acquisition trail and they've acquired some, some absolutely um, what were boutiques, what they were classed as in turn, you know, from a Salesforce perspective. But I think what they've done is they've acquired a number of boutiques that have absolutely put the building blocks in place to, to really form an absolutely huge Salesforce partnership going forward. That is growing on a weekly basis. I, I laugh when I present with Salesforce or when I'm presenting to customers, we always have to do a, uh, a recheck on the numbers before we go in because on a weekly basis, they're increasing. But when you look at the actual growth that we have, the ability to go multi-cloud, the ability to go end-to-end -end from an engagement perspective, we are one of the few partners that really does step up, in my opinion. When it gets tough or there's the, the, the real difficult bits that a client's trying to achieve, we don't shy away from that. 
you know, we squarely look at approaching that and how to deliver that success so that they really deliver an end-to-end -end experience that is driven by absolute core growth and more importantly, changing, change enablement and training. Absolutely fundamental at the core as well. So not only is it about the technology, it's about the people. And when you empower both, you, you drive for a really great uh, partnership going forward. Strong. I think um, the future um, is going to be something that will really kind of, I think, de help define how we move forward in, uh, as an organization as well. Uh, the digital transformations that we are delivering um, on a daily basis is, is absolutely staggering to see, but quite humbling and quite, you know, you feel quite proud to see what clients are physically doing with what we're deploying for them. The fact that it's a lot what Salesforce call clicks, not code, there's not a not, you know, it's, it's done really fast. They're constantly innovating. So the ability to see that we have clients that are doing upgrades every two weeks, they're pushing new functionality into their business every two weeks. This is a speed and consistency that has never really been seen before. And it's certainly not from certain legacy applications. So the beauty of this from a growth is that I think you will find that companies will innovate faster. Um, I think that they will deliver more success into their organization. It will be constantly the ability to drip feed better, more up-to-date functionality. Salesforce have three releases a year. EPAM needs to stay at the forefront of that, which I think we do very well. And again, it's our ability to guide them based on our customer's understanding. Because we put the customer at the center of the journey and our center of how we deliver, we're constantly thinking about what is the right thing for them at the right time. So providing them with the right level of guidance, consulting, support, and just general kind of understanding of their business, I think will make a very strong partnership going forward. The domain expertise we bring, I think Salesforce sees value in as well. I like to think that we, we do bring great domain expertise in terms of what we deliver. And that really shows in terms of our understanding of how to get the best out of the solutions that are there. But the fact that we sit on a number of the partner advisory boards, that's allowing us to shape and influence the next part of the solution stack that's coming forward, which I think is gonna be really strong for us.